Hi guys, today I am going to watch a video from the Jimmy Dore show. Jimmy Dore is an American stand-up comedian, political commentator and a YouTube personality. Here the video is titled Russia accused of bombing shopping mall with thousand people inside. Actually react to that news and that video couple of days ago. Now I'm going to react to Jimmy Dore's perspective of it. I'm curious. Let's see what Jimmy Dore have to say about this this whole situation. Let's go. So here's some more propaganda for you. I don't know if you saw this. <laughs> propaganda. Russian missile hits Ukraine mall filled with a thousand civilians, says the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, and there's a picture of it. Yeah. What do you what is missing? Cars from the parking lot. There'll be cars. That's a very good point. There is not a lot of cars there. Ukrainians drive cars, right? It's it's, it's very odd. Oh, I was going to say the mall census people who had just got done with a <laughs> thousand person mall count before it exploded. Boy, a thousand civilians at the mall. So even Ukraine's economy is doing better than ours. <laughs> in a war. there's some real shopaholics out there in ukraine huh <laughs> a thousand people shopping at a mall during a war and with russia boy i bet all those refugees from ukraine were like hey you guys coming and those shoppers were like what and miss the deals <laughs> he making so some here's good what points russia tweeted out russia says on June 27th, Russian aerospace forces launched a high-precision air attack at hangars with uh, armament and munitions delivered by USA. So they're saying that this building here was housing munitions in the war that Ukraine was going to use against Russia. So Russia sent a missile to blow them up. And they oh. just bought them those. <laughs> oh, man. Come Can't on. we have anything nice? <laughs> Without Russia blowing it up. <laughs> so they say they bomb there and then a residual that fire caught funny. that shopping Jimmy mall on funny. fire. That's what they're that's what Russia's saying. Uh the high precision attack resulted in the neutralization of West manufactured armament and munitions concentrated at the storage area for being delivered to Ukrainian groups. Ooh group of troops in Donbass. So Ooh. that's what Russia's saying. So Boeing paid for two fireworks displays? Is what you're saying? Apparently. <laughs> so this is the Kremenchuk shopping mall bombing. Here's the key location. This is according to the BBC. Oh. So here it is. They say the first missile hit the uh, they say the first missile hit the shopping center and the second missile hit over here. That's what they're saying. Uh, let's watch a little video of it. No cars. Yeah, no cars. There's a thousand people inside. And no she can barely she see. Too? Someone, and, the, and then those missiles cars. stole the cars. <laughs> and where are the people? There's a thousand people. I see like eight people. A lot of casual milling around a uh, yes. of a thousand people burning. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. hey, he is that? making a lot of good points. So uh wow. this so here's what this person says. Vera Van Horn says a fire in a non functioning shopping mall was caused by the detonation of an ammunition for Western weapons stored at a nearby factory. So they're saying they were bombing the munition stash at this factory. And that the fire then jumped to the to the mall. That's what they're saying, Ooh, right? Okay. She's, you know. The mall has been closed since March huh. and was reportedly used as a storage facility. <sighs> I'm sure Zelensky was aware of that. That's what she's saying. Now, I'm not saying that. That's, that's some Russian. Oh. Right? I mean, why yeah, that's, that's the Russian, Russian perspective. Right? He also goes on, why would you store your munitions next to a mall? Because you also have munitions in the mall. <laughs> that's right. 
According to Ukrainian sources, the mall was closed in 2015 after raiders took over the owner company, a normal occurrence in Ukraine. At the end, the owner went bankrupt. Uh, and this is from Forbes article dated February 25th, 2022. It informs that the owner of Selpo that took over the mall closed 30 locations in Ukraine as the war started. So even according to some Western media, the uh, mall was closed a long time ago. Wow, <laughs> this, is, this is getting really, really interesting. So, and here, somebody put this up. Is this from their Yelp or something? Or I don't know what this, it says closed, permanently closed. It's not on fire there. That could be some good business so, closing yeah, off fire. issues. Who knows? <laughs> so here's another news report. Watch this. A shopping center with more than 1,000 civilians inside has been hit by a missile strike in the Ukrainian city of Kremenchuk. Ukraine has said that it fears dozens of civilians might be dead or injured. The dozens. Thousands to dozens. They, so, so the... The range is from a dozen to a thousand. That's the range. That's the range. Okay. Everything is propaganda. President Vladimir Zelensky announced the attack on television. I don't know what to believe now. The mall is on fire. Firefighters are trying to extinguish the fire. The number of victims is impossible to imagine. It's, it's impossible to imagine. I thought you just did. It was between 12 and 1,000. Oh. Wow, that's that's amazing. Okay. He is it's really like going very really hard on that. Impossible for the brain to imagine. Site of Ukraine's biggest oil refinery. The city had a population of 217,000 before Russia's invasion in February. We're never going to know how many people actually died in that bombing until Zelensky and Ben Stiller land on a number to make that movie. Am I right? Come on. <laughs> it's a big scene. <laughs> footage of the attack has been shared on social media. It shows the building engulfed in flames, civilians standing outside, and emergency services at the scene. A thousand people. And they got you can six see guys one, with their shirts one person off. There. The strike got. comes just one day after so one person definitely injured. Blamed Russia for hitting two residential buildings in the capital, Kyiv, killing two people. So, according to this propaganda, Russia hit a residential area on purpose and only killed two civilians. I don't know. I honestly don't happen. mean. Don't, I don't know if that means that their army has better or worse stuff than we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, here we go. Those are better numbers than our collateral damage. Yes. <laughs> there has been I mean, no immediate it. comment from Russia, which denies wow. deliberately what? targeting Probably. civilians. Maybe people are not in their home, right? Okay, so here's so BBC did an article, and they want they this is they want you to know that every bad thing they're saying about Russia is true. And don't be skeptical whatsoever. The claim that the shopping center was non-functioning. This is what the BBC says. They say that this claim is false. Well, thanks for clearing that up. BBC reporters on the ground have spoken to shoppers and employees who were inside the building at the time of the attack. Multiple. Really? Which BBC reporter? Why don't you name them? And what were, who were the people? And where's the video? There's no evidence. Multiple posts Come on. listing details BBC, of missing you can people do that. who were either working at the shopping center I mean, on the day or that day, shopping a lot of times, right? were published <laughs> in a local telegram channel in the hours after the attack. So this is being used as proof that the, that is so they you couldn't possibly make that up and print it. You couldn't so, possibly. So that. they are they using that the, as a proof. My so and so is yes, in there. Yes, exactly. They don't. Uh. One pro, this is from the BBC, one pro Kremlin fact checking channel suggested that no photographs from inside the shopping center had been posted on Instagram since March. So 
However, a woman who lives in a nearby village and regularly goes shopping at Kremenchuk told the BBC that the shopping center had been constantly open. That's a weird way to say it. And her family had visited it at least once a week. So is the issue that the facts were pro-Kremlin or that the fact checkers are pro-Kremlin for telling pro-Kremlin facts? Ooh. Probably all of that. Probably all of that. So that's that's this is their fact checking. So this there they're is saying still, this there is no evidence is lying because this person we they're don't know said reporting. this. And the BBC we know how they lied over Syria. We know that. So they're, they're the, next liars. Claim, the attack was Come staged on. or a provocation. This claim contradicts. So I don't th- I don't think anybody I'm not saying that that the attack was staged or a provocation. I don't even think Russia's saying that. Nobody's saying that. Nobody says. So they're pretending <laughs> they're pretending that someone's saying that. And yeah. don't go try to say that it was staged. I mean, <laughs> so I don't think so they go they go on to bother debunking it, but no one's saying it. And then they they give you this picture. They say that's one of the missiles that hit. You see the caption? It, it's yeah. The caption says, "Watch CCTV shows missile strike in Ukrainian shopping mall." That's a mall. <laughs> Contains the stuff. That, this doesn't look like a mall. This looks like an abandoned shipping yard with a crane. And that place, I don't know. Maybe it, it keeps going to the mall behind the tree line. Yeah, very, it must, maybe very, the mall's behind boy, the tree very line. Very interesting. That must be it. Uh. So, again, it's just fun to point out that you never know what's going on in war, but they always report it as if they're certain. No, BBC reporters talk to a person, and they talk, but there's no pictures of anybody dead inside the thing. There's no, there's no cars in the parking lot. So I think that Russia bombed their munitions thing, and maybe one of their missiles hit that uh, abandoned shopping mall. That's what that's what that's my guess. I don't know. It's very really likely. But the fact that the BBC tries to debunk it as they, they don't that's not debunking. What they're doing is giving they're just giving you propaganda. If you have reporters on the ground, why are you not where are they? That first hand of first hand account from yeah. the person on the ground that you could be giving and says like your uh what's right. your name? Chorizo Huggins. Who's that chick from the I don't know story? But so that's crazy. Uh, that they think they know exactly what happened already. And uh, what? anything else? I, I just... The other key, but they're probably getting a, a thing to print that. Like a, that's like the Paul Mason. Yeah. The Paul Mason stuff. It's, uh, it's funny that every time you get a, a story from the BBC or the New York Times or CNN, it's always the same way. It's always, they never make mistakes the opposite way. It's always that in the same, just like with Russiagate. Whenever they would get caught making mistakes with Russiagate, it was always in the same direction that saying Trump was guilty. and because It was never the other way. <laughs> he is a it's Trump like supporter. Greenland pointed that out. But it's the same thing with Ukraine war. I'm sure of that. It's the same way. Wow, this is this is interesting. This is really interesting. Jimmy Dore have a lot of good points here. There is not a lot of cars there, and uh, they claim that thousand people were inside at that time during that war time <laughs> in a shopping mall. But you can't see any footage. They don't even know how many people injured, dead. It's all bizarre. It's all very, very bizarre. And just like Jimmy Dore said, there is a chance that the Russians attacked the uh, that uh, storage, that ammunition storage facility, but uh, by accident, that closed mall also got attacked, <laughs> and the. Western uh, media or the Ukrainians uh, run with it or maybe Russia really targeted that shopping mall with uh, uh, with thousand people inside maybe not thousand 
maybe 100, 500, maybe they just uh, exaggerated the numbers. But anyway, I still don't know <laughs> what to believe here. It's so all, we don't know what is true and false, right? It's all propaganda, Russian propaganda, Ukrainian propaganda, <laughs> Western propaganda. Who knows, who knows? But anyway, you have to be skeptical of everything. You have to be skeptical of everything. 